Okay, so I mentioned in the last Raspberry Pi news that we can update Raspberry Pi OS to the latest version of Debian, which will be Debian 13 or Trixie. So the current version is Bookworm. Now, even if we look on the Debian website, you can see that if you click on the download, they're still using version 12. Now that's not the Raspberry Pi version there. And they do mention in their release notes on the Debian site, uh, issues to be aware of for Trixie, Sometimes changes introduced in a new release have side effects we cannot reasonably avoid, or they expose bugs somewhere else. This section documents issues we're aware of, and there is a whole load of things in here. So don't do this to your main operating system, but if you want to play around with it, by all means do. So if we go back to the official Raspberry Pi listing about it. So after a lot of work updating packages and testing, we're now at a point where the packages in our public Trixie repo can be used to update a bookworm image to Trixie and are herewith providing the instructions to do so. And they do give all the warnings here as well. So let's open a terminal, and I'm just going to install NeoFetch. This is a completely clean install, just so we can see a little snapshot of what we've got so far. So if I type NeoFetch, there you go. So kernel 6.12.34, Debian Bookworm. And this is my 16 gig Pi 5. If you do want to try upgrading to Trixie, and we would be grateful if some of you did, as it will doubtless find issues which we have not come across yet, here's how you do it. So start with the bookworm image running the desktop under labwc. So we, I think we can probably do this from the Raspberry config in here, but if not, we'll switch to the terminal one. No, we can't do it in this one. So let's open a terminal sudo raspi-config and advanced options i think it probably comes under wayland yeah labwc and okay and we're going to need to restart so i have updated already but i'll just run through all the steps there you go all updated uh, and then update the apt configuration we need to copy this Let's go sudo nano and paste that in. And we need to change everything in here from bookworm to Trixie. So there's bookworm here. You need to use the keyboard. You can't use the mouse to get to a bit here. Trixie. And here. And anything hashed out doesn't make any difference, so we don't need to touch that. So control X and yes or Y and then enter. That will save that. And then the other one here, do the same in every file in this one. I don't think that dash does anything. Well, we'll soon find out because it won't have anything in it if it's wrong. So back here and sudo nano and let's paste that in. Okay, it's empty. Let's close that, open another terminal and do it again. So I can delete that and pop it back in again. Okay, let's try that again with the dash. Reading data from keyboard. Okay, let's, let's look for the folder. Let's do it a different way. So if we go to the root, etc at sources.list sources.list raspi list I wonder if this is just accessible it does say read only look so what was wrong with that then let's have a look so if I open the terminal again put in my last command I see what I was doing wrong here so the first line gives you the full location the second one was saying all the files in this location I only had one because this is a clean install, but if you had other things installed in that directory, you need to make the changes to them as well. So it should be this. So sudo nano, paste that in, and then forward slash raspi dot list. Yeah. That's the one. Trixie. Okay, control X and Y and enter to save that. 
So let's run this update. Looking good, lots of Trixie written in here. Okay, that's all done. So let's copy this. So select all as it's a long line and copy and we'll paste it in here. This probably takes a while. It flashed past how much it was going to be. It was a lot to change. Scrolling up, scrolling up. Right, where was it? So the following packages will be removed. The new package will be installed. Upgraded. After this operation, 501 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Yeah, so we'll come back when that's all done. Okay, so that's all finished. It does say here it's worth running syncs just to make sure the system has cleared all its caches. It was coming up with some things in yellow, although I don't see them now, uh, which was suggesting that certain things couldn't be deleted. I wonder if they come up on a full screen. No, nope, can't see them. Let's go sudo and sync. And let's do reboot. Everything is looking fine. Let's run NeoFetch. So Debian 13 Trixie, we got more packages, 1719, whereas we had 1611 before. Bash has gone from 5.2.15 to 5.2.37. And the terminal has gone from LX terminal to X terminal. So let's just install some things and see if it's working. sudo apt install p sensor. That looks different. It wouldn't normally look like that. I guess that's the new terminal, so yes. And that will show up here now. So if we type in pSensor, we can see all our temperatures and all of that is showing up. Have we got more down here? Yeah, nice. Let's try a bit of Xmoto. And yes. And we'll see if that works. Definitely important to be able to play Xmoto, so let's see if that works. Battery 30%. I just need to change my sound. There we go, sound's coming through. You might have heard sound before through the HDMI, but I always put it through a speaker so I can monitor it. Oh, are we going to get over there? <laughs> Oh crikey, that's a tricky one. That's definitely working though. I could definitely play this for a while. I wonder if I, so if I get some real speed up. Not too far away from the wall. <laughs> no, it was worth a try. So that's working. Uh, if we do another terminal and we do HTOP. Let's turn off that audio, we don't need that. Uh, and do htop yeah nice so we try and install something else sudo at install gparted and yes everything seems to be here and system tools gparted yeah all of that's working. Nice. Anything different in here? Chromium and Firefox. Doesn't normally look like that, does it? Diagnostics. I don't think. I don't I don't actually use Raspberry Pi a lot because I use KDE Plasma on top of it. And the folders, yeah, all that looks fine. So we try and install KDE Plasma. Actually, let's try YouTube first. Just play a bit of a video. Have we got the no video thing again? Oh. So to write that, all you have to do is go into the settings of the browser and turn off hardware acceleration, which is obviously not ideal, but oh, obviously this is beta testing, but if you want to be able to play, yeah, use graphics acceleration when available, relaunch and we have video. 
And if we go, it's on 720 at the moment. This monitor, oh, it's only going to give me 1080. Let's go full screen though. Yeah, looks good. Stats for nerds. Four for, yeah, it's not dropping frames. I mean, it is only 1080, but it is running it without hardware acceleration. So that's one thing that's not working. Right, let's try and install KDE. So let's do... I thought it had crashed just then, but my keyboard battery had run out, so I just plugged my keyboard back in. So sudo at install kde-plasma-desktop. And yes. I like this new layout on the terminal. So it asks about a display manager now. So I'm just going to say light DM. Oh, we're nearly there, 99%. Yep, that's finished. So now we need to shut down and restart. Okay, so just starting up for the first time. Wayland to X recording. What's going on there? Recording bridge. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what it's doing. Right, I'm going to log out. And if I put my password in... Oh, so normally we would get a KDE Plasma login at that point. You can see it installs loads of things on here and one of the great things it installs is the Discover Store. I'm just going to reboot it again. Yeah, I've restarted and I'm still getting this uh, screen which is not giving me any options. Normally you get an option after installing KDE but there's nothing here to change the desktop environment. So if I quit out, is it Alt F4? Yeah. And let's log back in. And let's try, let's try a few things. Let's try Start X and see what happens. No, this might work, no. Okay, is this gonna work? Yeah, is this the newer version as well? So about KDE Plasma 6.3.5, running on Wayland, nice. This looks nice. I haven't changed the theme or anything yet, but yeah, that's working. I wonder what happens if I now log out, okay, and reboot. I have got all sorts of weird things here. Like I've got the Debian launcher icon that looks like there's something behind it with this line here. I've got this Wayland 2X recording. This has changed, this little desktop icon. But if I log out now, <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't give me the option of logging in to the other environment. I do know that I can do Alt F4. And this is just experimental at the moment. Um, so Start Plasma Dash Wayland was the one that worked for me. I'm just going to change the theme because I want a nice uh, background to show for my thumbnail. So let's go global theme. Let's try something else. What, what else have we got on here? Actually, I'm just going to change the icons because I'm happy with that, how it is at the moment. So under this, if I type in icons, let's go for something a little bit different. I quite like the Mars ones. These look quite cool. And that's going to look very different because they're all circles. They look quite nice. I think I'm going with those circles. Let's see what they look like anyway. Yeah. Should we go with grey? Use. Now it's going to be too obvious because it's got a Mac OS one and an App Store one. So I need to use something different for the thumbnail. Maybe another circle theme. Let's just go with the default one. Okay, that looks different enough. And if I put it on something like all applications, system, that'll do for my thumbnail. And I thought I'd go through that post and see what other people are saying about Trixie. Someone here has done it on a Pi 500, so it all is good. SD card copier fails. Raspberry Pi 4 been updated here. The Wolfram engine is not working. And there's a file manager thing, but it. Uh, I read about this earlier on. It... Um, 
yeah, ext4 file systems are no longer auto mounted for reasons of security. It can be worked around and so on. I think KDE does that because KDE comes up with, uh, you know, when you plug something in, it asks you to mount them. So Pi 3B here got Trixie installed on the third try. Someone's had a, an issue trying to log in here and using StartX and getting a different desktop manager. Uh, you didn't get the latest version of Raspberry Config before the update. That's why the first step was to do a full update of your bookworm system. Error with Halo, which is the AI side of it, so the image, image recognition, and it's not been migrated to Trixie yet. And there will be, it does say in here somewhere, uh, a beta image in a couple of weeks. So if you don't want to go through this process, you can just download uh, an image of Trixie. Uh, and I guess that will be in Raspberry Pi Imager. Probably under Raspberry Pi Other, is it? So if I do Imager, yeah, probably under this, Raspberry Pi OS Other. It's not there yet. See, it says Bookworm. DRM is not working in Firefox on YouTube. My movies and TV. So... Some of these were free promotions with things. Right, let's try something which will be high resolution, so a bit of Blade Runner. So I'm going to have to obscure some of the screen, but let's see if it works in YouTube. So it only goes up to 480, look. Let's go back. So pick something else. Well, that was the most recent. So let's try Flight of the Concords. But I wouldn't imagine this will be high res. Because it's pretty old. 360 and let's try one more film passengers no 480 is the max that i can get on that and then if i try on firefox so let's try passengers again yeah your browser can't play this video interesting right let's go back to chrome uh, rpi connect not getting a mouse cursor on the desktop on this one on a raspberry pi 5 this uh, user just noticed upgrading to Trixie replaced my customized command line dot text with a default one. Oh, I'll link this thread because obviously there's loads in here and I think I've probably covered enough. What I didn't try was YouTube, but enabling the hardware acceleration again. So settings, system, yeah, graphics acceleration when available, relaunch. And let's see if we get that same issue. Nope, video's working again. What's it going to let me get up to? Oh, only up to 1080 again. But it is working with hardware acceleration now. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.